The President, please be seated. The Thai Chamber is now in session, and uh, we would like to give the floor to uh, the Nguyen Chia Defense Council to continue his line of questioning. Council, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Um, in response to your oral request this morning in relation to the witness that was requested by the prosecution, um, of course, there is no doubt that this witness is very relevant, and uh, I think um, she should be scheduled as soon as possible. However, of course, we have the same problem with her as uh, with this witness, that um, there might be a lot of evidence out there um, which uh, describes activities on the sector level. So, with that caveat, um, we uh, do not object uh, to having that witness scheduled as soon as possible. Uh, having said that, Mr. President, I would like to continue with my questions, um, if that's all right, um, uh, to the witness. Uh, Mr. Witness, I was uh, be before the lunch break. I was reading some excerpts from the statement of um, the witness that you know that I, who I'm talking about. I would ask, would like to ask you a few more questions in relation to uh, her ex the excerpts of her statement. Uh, more particularly, I would like to read to you her answer to question uh, A141, and again, the same procedure, I would like to ask your reaction. Um, so, Mr. Witness, she's asked by the investigators the following question. Uh, were you authorized? to appoint or remove the cooperative chairperson? Answer, one for one. There was an election. There was an election to select a good cooperative chairperson in the village to find a good person. After the village, villagers had agreed to select someone, I appointed that person to be a chairperson. I was authorized to remove bad or uncivilized uh, cooperative chairpersons and make them become ordinary people again. The cooperative chairpersons were normally selected from the ordinary people. Question. Uh, if a cooperative chairperson did not act well, was that cooperative chairperson arrested or refashioned or re-educated? Answer. Cooperative chiefs were not arrested or re-educated, but the people were. Bad and dishonest cooperative chiefs were removed and sent back to the ordinary people to do work such as transporting firewood, carrying vegetables, and so on. Um, my question, Mr. Witness, is your reaction to this particular excerpt in the witness's statement. Do you agree with this statement? Yes or no? Answer. On these issues, I Réponse. have never encountered any removal or any sending back anyone to, uh, the, or, to be ordinary person for any re-education. Um, very well. My, my question, question is merci. particularly, uh, my following question is particularly directed to the word, to the words bad and uncivilized cooperative chairpersons. Um, um, is that something that um, rings a bell with you? Do you know what this witness means with bad or uncivilized cooperative chairpersons?
answer. Réponse. It's difficult for me to uh, mention or to give a definition to this word because it was based on a case by case. I don't know the real case in which cooperative, in which village it was. So it's difficult for me to respond to your question. Do you know, do you remember whether, um, for instance, in revolutionary flags, there were directives uh, on the directives to cadres as to how to behave toward the people? pour ce qui est de la façon de, dont ils devaient se comporter par rapport aux autres. Answer. The revolutionary flag. I I saw it, but I forget those instructions because it has been more than 30 years now. But there, was in, there were instructions during the study session um, that the cadre should uh, do good things for the people. Uh, the cadre should try to work hard uh, to uh, provide food shelter for the people. Those study sessions were held at the zone office or at the sector office. Sometimes it was organized in Phnom Penh. And do you remember or do you know whether the general policy was to sanction or to punish disciplinarily cadres who acted badly toward the people? Answer. I do not recall this. Um, very well. I will move to another subject, another excerpt from uh, this particular witness's first statement. This topic has been discussed already uh, previously in the last days, but nevertheless, I would like to revisit it. Um, and these are her answers to questions 147, um, 148. Aux questions 147, 148, 151 et 152. Je vais vous redonner, enfin, je vais vous donner lecture de ces extraits. Yang Ma Yang, Medui. Président, Duty Council. Duty Council doesn't have uh, the document. Court officer is instructed to bring the document from the Council and hand it over to the Duty Council. Uh, council, uh, one for seven, I would like to start. Je commence par la question 147. So again, Mr. Witness, this is a topic being discussed, but I want to read to you the exact passage, excerpt from her state. Question 147. What were the minor crimes and what were the serious crimes? Answer. The cooperative chairperson whom I talked about, who had stolen a little food to eat, was regarded as a minor criminal. The ones who stole pottery that had been collected to be stored were also deemed minor criminals. But the ones who damaged materials, walked around to entice others and impact Ankar by words, or opposed Ankar or used trickery, were regarded as serious criminals. Rape of other people's wives was also considered a serious crime because they all were arrested and sent to be re-educated. All that was only in the base under my supervision. Question. 
In that regime, everything was communal property and opposed private ownership. Theft of supplies or small amounts to eat was a minor crime. Were those acts against the revolution? Answer. I would like to inform you that firstly, theft due to hunger was a minor crime. Secondly, frequent theft which was more serious was reported to me by the lower level. And finally, Mr. Witness, uh, uh, question um, 151. The answer to the question, uh, the question is as follows. You specified two types of minor and serious crimes. A serious crime included sexual rape. In terms of punishment, how were the victims and perpetrators punished? Answer 151. The victim was not punished, only the rapist was punished. Question, final question. When we talk about the term rape, that is the act of forcing someone by violence to have sexual intercourse. Did you mean this? Answer, yes. In cases of a man raping a woman and the woman did not consent, the man was punished while the woman was not. Now, Mr. Witness, my first and in general question is, do you agree with these excerpts from the witness's statement? Answer. I agree to the uh, excerpts you have just read to me. Je suis avec, uh, ce que vous venez de me lire. Um, to be more specific, when she says theft due to hunger was a minor crime, faim, that is something that you agree to. Que vous êtes Answer. This is a minor crime. Oui, il s'agit d'un délit mineur. And is it correct that rape... Question. No, let me rephrase. Was rape always considered to le be a serious crime in the DK period? Le viol était-il toujours considéré comme une faute grave sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique? Answer. Rape Réponse. by force over Le viol. a woman without any consent from a woman, it was a serious crime. And to your knowledge, to your recollections, re recollection, were perpetrators of rape Et d'après vos souvenirs, um, arrested, les auteurs de viol étaient-ils uh, arrêtés uh, the period. sous le Kampuchea démocratique Answer. Yes, there were Réponse. an arrest and oui, they were re-educated based on uh, their level. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, I would like to move on now Question, to another Monsieur topic. Um, and that is a passage, an excerpt from your own statement. Um, Mr. President, that is E319115. Um, ah, question 15. questions uh, A103 until question A107. Let me first um, ask you a general question after you have, have had a chance to look at the questions and your answers. questions So, it's um, A103. Up until A107. 
Donc, question 103 à 107. Judy Council. Mr. President, I did not receive all Monsieur the documents from uh, the Council. Uh, Mr. Kope, could you provide uh, the, the, the document with all pages, but the one that you gave to the Judy Council missed uh, some pages? Uh, Mr. President, this is his own statement, so I think he should have it, because we were referring to it quite a bit yesterday and the day before yesterday. It's a statement of this witness. E319.1.15. Le président. President, court officer, please uh, review the document uh, together with the duty council to uh, see if uh, there's uh, certain pages missing from the document as indicated by the duty council. Yes, you should use uh, another copy instead of uh, the previous one. Council, it's 103 till 107. Maître Copé, il s'agit donc des questions 103 à 107. Mr. Witness, um, the questions and your answers are relating to um, Tassi uh, or Chuchet. Uh, can you tell the court in general what do you remember of uh, C, Tassi or Chuchet? Ce dont vous vous souvenez à propos de Chuchet et Tassi. Answer. I remember Réponse. in 1970, the United Front assigned me as a member of the Front Movement in Tramcock District. It was just for a few months. I don't remember well. I don't uh, remember the number of months. And then I was called to Beast Mountain, to the north of National Road Number 4 in Kampong Spu Province. There I met with Tassi, and I left Tramcock to Beast Mountain. I spent four seven days. I met Tassi, and he told me to uh, receive a task to be in charge of uh, education, to teach uh, alphabet and uh, letter in Takeo. Uh, and compose and compote, and then I returned to uh, Tramcock District in Takao Province. The duration when I left Tramcock to Phnom Peace Mountain, and when I returned, it was a full month, and then I became sick um, after that. That's all I remember about my meeting. With, uh, Tassi. How well did you know Tassi? Um, did you have many conversations with him? Uh, did you meet him often? Can you tell a little bit more about your relationship with Tassi or Chuchet? 
de vos rapports avec Chuchet ou Tassi. Witness, I have one Réponse. met him very often, and later I returned to Tramcock, and later I uh, did not uh, meet him, so I don't know much what souvent, happened ensuite, uh, and what did he do uh, during uh, that period. Do you know anything période. about um, Chuchet's Question. positions? Toward Vietnam. Et pour ce qui est des fonctions, la position de Chuchet par rapport au Vietnam. Answer. I don't Réponse. know about that. Je n'en sais rien. Do you know anything about the relation Question. between Chuchet, uh, and Tamok? Quelque chose à propos des relations qui existaient entre Tamok, Chuchet et Tassi? Answer. Tassi and Tamok were in the Tassi same zone Tamok committee. Appartenaient au même comité so de zone. they were in the same uh, zone committee. Ils appartenaient au même comité de zone. Do you remember uh, when Tassi Question. became the leader of the West Zone? Souvenez-vous souvenez du moment où Tassi est devenu responsable de la zone ouest? Answer, I don't Réponse. remember this. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas. Do you know Chuchet's wife, Imna? Connaissez-vous Imna, la femme de Chuchet? Answer, I don't know a person Réponse. by the name of Imna. Je ne connais personne, I, personne qui répond au nom uh, de Imna. His wife was called Ye Clay. J'avais entendu dire que sa femme s'appelait Ye Clay. So Imna is not. Question. Or is that another name of Chuchet's wife? Peut-être que la femme de Chuchet portait également ce nom-là. Regarde. Answer. Réponse. I don't know uh, the individual by the name of Imna. Je ne je ne connais but, personne appelé Imna. Uh, the wife of Tassi was known as Ye Clay. La femme de Tassi s'appelait Ye Clay. Is one name maybe an alias, revolutionary alias, Question. and the other one is it, or, or, you, or you don't know? Ou alors vous n'en savez rien. Answer. Réponse. I don't know about this. Je n'en sais rien. Do you know, do you know what happened to Chuchet in 1978? Savez-vous ce qu'il est arrivé à Chuchet en 1978? Answer. In 1978, Réponse. I think en 1978, it might be that Tassi became the Tassi secretary of the West Zone. De la zone and uh, from the zone office of the West Zone to Tramcock, it, is, it was a far distance. Mais le and de la zone as était très you du de know Tramcock. well, during the K period, we had no telephone, savez, avait pas de téléphone uh, and we don't have a radio broadcast about um, everything radio like what we have now. So I didn't know about that. Uh, maybe I will refresh your memory, Mr. Witness. Was uh, Chuchet executed in May 1978?
Answer, I don't know. Réponse, je ne sais pas. So you don't, you don't know at all Chuchet's fate? Is that, is that your answer? Donc vous ne savez pas du tout ce qu'il est advenu de Chuchet. Answer. Réponse. Counsel, how could I know because he was Maître, in the West Zone? I was ouest. at Tramcock uh, district. Moi, It was district far away from each other. Nous, nous We had no telephone communication. We had no television. And there were no broadcasts about that incident. Because I was a, a lower cadre, how could Moi, I know, how could I respond to you for that uh, question? Did you hear question. after 1979 what the fate was, the fate was of um, Chuchet? Do you know that he ended up in S21? Answer. After 1979, I fled into the jungle at the mountain area. How could I obtain any information about that? Very well. I'll name a few names to you. Uh, people from uh, sector 13. And I would like to ask you if you have any knowledge of a possible relationship between these people si and Chuchet. My first question is about Som. Um, the secretary of sector 13. Do you have any idea whether there was a relation between Som and Chuchet? No, I did not know about uh, the relationship of the SAM, the Sector 13 Committee, and Chuchet. The last time I met the SAM, it was at the uh, current Khmer Soviet Hospital when I got my knee injured and that I had to be hospitalized for three months. And at that time, he was also hospitalized because he had a tuberculosis. And after that, I never had any news uh, from him. Do you know if there was any relation between Chuchet and Takiv? No, I did not. Do you know if there's any relation between Chuchet and Moon? I did not know the person by the name of Moon. Réponse, je ne connais personne répondant au nom de Moon. Uh, Moon, the younger brother of Niri Bao. Does that ring a bell? Moon, le jeune frère de Niri Bao. Niri Bao, ni kak nyam at school. I did not know this woman, Niri Bao. Je ne connais pas cette femme, Niri Bao. Do you know if there's any relation between Chuchet and the Undersecretary of Sector 13, Penn? I knew Brother Penn. However, as to the contact or relationship between him and Chujet, 
I had no knowledge of. Où je n'avais pas connaissance d'un quelconque lien entre lui et Chuchet. Um, I mentioned to you uh, Takiv, Moon, Som, Pen. Pen. Um, do you know what happened to them uh, in the DK period? Ces personnes pendant le Kampuchea démocratique. Allow me to clarify. As for Moon, I did not know that person. Moon, je ne connaissais pas cette personne. And as for Kiu, Kiu, I knew him and I saw him working in Tramco district. Je l'ai vu travailler dans le district de Tramco. In 1970, he had a small physical build, and at that time he was working with a comb. And I lost contact with him by the time I was transferred to work at the Kohendat district. To your knowledge, were was any of these persons that I just mentioned um, arrested? Savez-vous si l'une quelconque des personnes que je viens de mentionner a été arrêtée? For being accused of being a traitor. Pour traîtrise. No, I did not. Non, je ne sais pas. And Brother Pan, the under secretary of sector 13, fled through the forest. And later on, he died when he came out. From the forest, he died in Gomporta province. Province, he dies from illness, and I even attended his funeral. So this means you also have no knowledge of these people being potentially within Chuchet's network. Is that correct? Que vous ne savez pas si ces personnes étaient dans le réseau de Chuchet, et vous ne savez rien du réseau de Chuchet. That is correct. I did not know. I did not know the relationship between these four individuals with the two jet. And as I said earlier, I did not know Moon. I knew Q and I knew Pan, the deputy secretary of sector 13, as I lived with him in Kohanda district. He went, or he fled to the jungle in the forest uh, upon the invasion by the Vietnamese troops. Later on, he died uh, in the area west of Pe uh, River in Kampot province, and I, atten I attended his uh, funeral as well. Okay, Mr. Witness, I will move on to another topic. Um, what I would like to do now with you is the same as I did with um, the statements of uh, the female witness. Uh, this time, I would like to put to you uh, some answers in this witness statement, that is E313.1.18, Mr. President. I'm looking at the duty council whether he has that statement E313.1.18, President, Duty Council, have you located the relevant document? Vous êtes vous muni du document pertinent?
Hot on me and day. Does he have it? Uh, court officer? It seems that the duty counsel and the witness do not have the data relevant document and defense counsel. Uh, can you provide the witness with a Khmer version of the document? Um, I will, Mr. President, but in the meantime, I will just start with my questions. Um, and I will read the answer and the question to the witness. And I will do it slowly so he can follow. So, um, this witness, I don't think I can mention his name, can I? No. Um, And uh, counsel, you may write the name uh, on a piece of paper and court officer can deliver that name to the witness. We shall conform to the issue of confidentiality as uh, imposed by the International Co Investigating Judge. So this is the witness that I'm speaking about, Mr. Um, Mr. Witness. Um, in question um, seven, uh, 57, question uh, the investigators asked this particular witness the following question. To your knowledge, uh, did Tamok receive orders directly from Pol Pot or Son Sen, alias Brother 89, the chief of the general staff? Answer. Tamok received direct orders from Pol Pot. Question. What convinced you to believe that Tamok received direct orders from Pol Pot? Answer. Because Tamok was the second person to Pol Pot. Organizationally, the first person was Pol Pot, the second one was Nguyen Chia, and Tamok was the third person. But when receiving orders, Tamok received direct orders from Pol Pot, not Nunchia. As for Son Sen, he was in the Central Committee of the Party, but under Tamok. After finishing the purges in the four zones, Pol Pot appointed Tamok as the Chief of the General Staff, superior to Son Sen. It was an internal matter of the party. When Tamok was appointed, there was announcement on the radio, and Son Sen continued his work under Tamok. Uh, Mr. Witness, my question is um, whether you are able, to your knowledge, to give a reaction uh, to this statement. Is that correct, what this witness is saying? On the issue of the organization structure, Réponse. S'agissant de la structure Pol Pot, hiérarchique, with his alias as brother number one, Pol Pot was the top person, and that is correct. Était au sommet, and son Tamok was likely the third top Tamok person était la who received a, a direct order from Pol Pot. Pol Pot. Sun Sen was in Sun charge Sen, of the general staff for the army. Later on, I did not have a full grasp for the reshuffling of the uh, structure that is after the purchase. I did not know the details about Son Sen's position after that. Mr. Witness, 
There is another witness who testified Un autre earlier here a uh, who said that Tamok was known as brother Tamok number two. Était connu sous le de frère is he correct or is he uh, not correct? That is not the correct. Réponse, c'est inexact. From the statement you read out, Tamok was the third top person, and it is also my understanding that Tamok was the third top person. Okay, Mr. Witness, I'll move on to the next excerpt from uh, this witness statement, and that is uh, his answer to question 64. Il s'agit de la question 64. Um, the question is réponse. about plans being received from the upper echelon. On demande si des plans ont and his answer is as follows. De la part de la uh, the meeting was held suivante. to receive work Une assignment. A été pour as for me, I was accomplir. assigned to work at a rubber plantation part, in Kampong Cham to organize cooperatives there. Other people were assigned with different Les tasks. During a meeting, Pol Pot said about réunion, betrayal in the zones, and it was also written on blackboards. Question? You said that Pol Pot mentioned Question, the betrayal in the zones. Did Pol Pot say about purges in the zones and organizing new structures? Answer, 65. Pol Pot réponse. did not use the word purges. He said that this zone is traitorous. Il y a des traîtres dans I cette assign zone. you, comrade, to go. You are my right-hand man. Deal droit. with it. Can you do it? The leader said like this. A question. Um, do you know of such a meeting Ma where Pol Pot attended? Avez-vous connaissance d'une telle réunion à laquelle Pol Pot était présent? No, I Réponse. did not, non. as I did not pas attend to such a meeting. Pas Je pas à ce type de uh, following up on this, uh, following, the question, following up the question of uh, Judge Lavergne yesterday, um, you were speaking about a meeting of cadres at which uh, Nuochia attended and spoke. Um, my question is, do you remember how many cadres were with you listening um, to the words of Nuanchia? I cannot recall uh, the number that is the total number. Je ne me souviens pas du nombre total. As for the Borei Gela building located to the north of Prepota Pagoda, that hall at the Borei Gela was fully packed, but I cannot recall the exact number. But if you, if you try to remember in your recollection how many, approximately, how many cadres were listening to the speech of Nguyen Chia, were it tens, were it hundreds, were it thousands? It is my estimate that the, the number was around 100 or a few less. Judge Lavergne tried yesterday to jog your memory uh, in relation to that, to that meeting. Do you know whether, in, similar like Pol Pot at the other meeting, uh, Nguyen Chia did not use the word purges. Savez-vous si, à l'instar de Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia a lui aussi évité le terme purge? Nguyen Chia. 
I can recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Next question is also based on an excerpt of this witness. Um, question 95. The witness is asked by the investigating, uh, by the investigators, the following question. You said that Son Sen was under Tamok. To your knowledge, was it possible that Tamok was the one who assigned Mias Mout as the Division II secretary? Answer. I do not think so because the Central Committee in charge of the military made the decision. The people in charge of the military included Son Sen, Tamok, and Pol Pot. No single person decided this matter. It was decided by all of them. I would like to answer that I do not know the answer to this question because I'm not sure. Uh, Mr. Witness, I can understand that you have uh, no answer, but do you know anything about the military committee within the Central Committee? Je sais que vous n'avez peut-être pas ces connaissances, mais savez-vous quoi que ce soit au sujet du centre? No, I did not know about the Central Military Committee. What I knew was that Son Sen was in charge of the general staff. As to the number of his deputies or members, I had no idea. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Now, question uh, one to six of this uh, witness statement. Again, I would like to read that statement to you, or that answer to you, and I would like to ask your reaction. Um, when I, uh, one, two, six. When I left for Kampong Cham, they remained in the sector committee one year before the Vietnamese invaded. So was transferred to Phnom Penh and assigned as the office chairman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Do you know if this is the song that I just mentioned when I asked you the question if he had any relationship with Chu Chen? Yes, uh, that was him, that sound. But I did not know that he was appointed to be in charge of an office at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, as I stated earlier, I saw him in July or August of 1978 uh, when he was hospitalized at the Khmer Soviet Hospital. Just, I'm not sure if I asked this before, but did you have Maître frequent Kofu, contact with Song? I don't know if I asked you before, but did you have frequent contact with Song? 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 Did you have frequent the secretary of the sector in Takai province around 1970 or 1971. Then I was transferred to Kohandai district and I only met him roughly once uh, every six months at that time. And subsequently, after 1975, I had a rather frequent contact with him, mainly on a monthly basis, and my main contact with him, with him was uh, on the matter of the study or training sessions. And how about in the period between 75 and 79? I'm, I'm not clear on this. Did you see him and speak with him frequently? 
between 75 and 79. Vous régulièrement entre 75 et 79, lui parliez-vous régulièrement I met him probably réponse. once a month or once every two months Je during that period. Tous les deux mois pendant cette période approximativement. From the period of 1975 mois, to 77, entre 1975 I was at Kandahar district, so I did not uh, meet him that frequently. I met him during that period, probably every, once every two months or three months. But after 1977, I met him at the uh, hospital, as I stated earlier. And is it correct that you uh, never spoke to him about his relationship with Chuchet? Est-il vrai qu'avec lui vous n'avez jamais abordé sa sa relation avec Chuchet? Or that you or that you don't know about any relationship between him and Chuchet? Ou alors n'avez-vous aucune connaissance des liens qu'il pouvait entretenir? I already uh, re responded to that question that I did not know about their relationship. You're right, Mr. Witness. Um, now I will move on to question 188 uh, in the same uh, witness statement. Uh, the witness in, question, in answer 188 is um, referring to a document. Ici, on présente un document. Um, and he answers in relation to a question about this document. Et la I received an instruction letter from Pol Pot in August 1978 to stop executing people. Letter this letter was issued to the public. Do you remember anything about a letter from Pol Pot, a public letter ordering the executions to stop? De Pol Pot, conseillant aux gens, conseillant d'arrêter de tuer les gens. My apology, I cannot recall that. Toutes mes excuses, je ne m'en souviens pas. Um, that's all right. Um, well, my, I think, last question when it comes to uh, this particular witness, and that is about um, his answer uh, in 244. You briefly spoke about this already, but I would like to ask you a specific question. Um, the witness is being asked, did you know what happened to the Khmer Krom when they arrived in Kirivong district? 243. In his answer 244, I was not worried about the Khmer Krom because they were mistreated by the Vietnamese, so they fled to Cambodia. And in his answer 248, he says, I think that those Khmer Krom people left Vietnam because they were mistreated by the Vietnamese and fled for help from Khmer people. Do you know anything about Khmer Krom people fleeing Vietnam because they were uh, mistreated by the Vietnamese? When Vietnamese Réponse. troops entered Kampuchea. Lorsque les troupes vietnamiennes sont entrées au Cambodge, I fled to the mountain. J'ai fui dans les and montagnes. And I came across the Khmer Krom people who were also fleeing. Des Khmer Krom qui fuyaient eux aussi. And they were under the supervision of uh, a man known Ils as étaient... Tap Prat. Sous la supervision d'un homme appelé Tapra. But I did not know the exact number of uh, 
the Khmer crown in this group. Mais j'ignore combien de Khmer crown composition. Do you know anything about the mistreatment of Khmer crown people by the Vietnamese in 1975 or before or 1976, 1977? No, I was not aware of that. Réponse, non, je n'en savais rien. Maître Coppa. Um, Mr. Witness, in a report on a visit of the Japanese Friendship Association delegation, Monsieur that is E3 slash 294, English ERN 0017 I will follow up, Mr. President, with the French and the Khmer Je ERN. Vous transmet par la suite les ERN en Khmer et en um, d'un compte rendu. And in relation to this uh, visit, uh, I read the following uh, on, in the report on that visit. It says, in the second paragraph of the first page of E3294, in the Takiyo sector, the friendly guests interviewed some Khmer Krom compatriots who were victims of Vietnamese persecution and suppression and who have taken refuge in Kirivong district. The friendly visitors were shocked by the tales told by the Khmer Krom compatriots about the massacres and atrocities perpetrated by the Vietnamese with the aim of exterminating the Khmer race in the most fascist and savage manner. I know Mr. Witness, that you were not involved in receiving the Japanese delegation. But do you know anything about this apparent concern that was um, uttered to the Japanese delegation? De cette préoccupation qui a été portée à la connaissance des Japonais. Since I uh, did not meet them, I uh, didn't know Et anything course. about that. Donné que je ne les ai pas je sais rien. Well, the Japanese visitors were told that these uh, apparent atrocities occurred. Il y avait eu ces uh, you were in that commune. Vous, you vous had dans cette uh, commune. received earlier delegations. Vous avez, vous so again, my questions, do, the question, do you remember anything about persecution by que Vietnam of Khmer Krom and that representatives of the DK uh, were reporting this to foreign visitors. Les représentants du camp Pouchet démocratique en ont fait mention aux visiteurs étrangers. Stated that I did not meet with this, uh, this Japanese delegation. I only met the Khmer ground people when I were fleeing through the mountain, and those Khmer ground people were under the management of a Taprai. On, on the 30th day of the Khmer ground people, I did not witness it or hear it during the regime. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, in the same document, DK representatives speak to members of the Japanese delegation, and they, um, according to this report, told them that they oppose hegemonism and that they oppose the Indochina Federation. That's in the third paragraph of this document, E3294. Uh, Mr. Witness, what is the Indochina Federation? I heard Tamok uh, spoke Réponse. about the Indochina Federation that it differs through the Federation amongst the uh, Vietnam, Laos and le Vietnam, Cambodia. Le Laos et le Cambodia. 
during the French, uh, the French colony, à l'époque des colonies the françaises, French used the term les Français Anglo-Chine-Française utiliser le terme Indochine française. And it referred to this uh, Indochina Federation that encompassed the three uh, countries Vietnam, pays, Laos, Vietnam, and Laos and Kampuchea. Et le Kampuchea. Tamok also stated that Tamok a également dit Vietnam, que le Vietnam wanted to reintegrate the three countries and to make it become one. Intégrer à nouveau les trois pays pour qu'ils ne deviennent plus qu'un. And did Tamok ever explain Maître how Coppe, Vietnam intended to achieve this purpose? Entendez atteindre cet objectif. Tamok dal pun jol. Yes. He did uh, give explanation on that. Oui, il a donné des explications à ce he sujet. He explained to me through other countries on the issue of the Indochina Federation. Ce qu'il en était de la fédération indochinoise à d'autres Do you remember his exact words? Question. Pourriez-vous redonner ces termes exacts? Pouvez-vous nous dire quel terme il a employé It's been so many years, so I can recall the exact words that he spoke at the time. Beaucoup d'années se sont écoulées depuis. Do you know, Je me souviens pas de ces termes exacts. Remember how Question. Vietnam Savez-vous Vous, 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 vous souvenez-vous De quelle façon le Vietnam s'est efforcé d'atteindre l'objectif de la fédération indochinoise Vous souvenez-vous de quoi que ce soit à ce sujet No, I cannot recall it. Réponse, non, je ne m'en souviens pas. But I'm, Mr. Witness, I'm Question. sure you've read revolutionary flags. Monsieur I'm Témoin, sure you've je listened to que vous avez lu les temps radio of Democratic Compatia. Don't you remember anything what DK officials were saying at the time Have you any idea of what they were saying about the Cambodian Democratic Party at the time in relation to the ambitions of Vietnam? I listened to the radio and I read the Revolutionary flag magazines. J'ai lu des numéros de l'étendard révolutionnaire. I heard and I actually heard something similar to the statement that you just read out. J'ai entendu parler. However, now I dare not want to speak about this because lots of Vietnamese people are now living in Cambodia. That is true. Um, Mr. Witness, I will move to another subject. Uh, it's uh, also almost 20 minutes to 3, Mr. President. Just to be complete, the um, ERN number. Je vous donne le RN. There are no French and Khmer en fait, numbers, il n'y a pas de RN en français so, et en Khmer. Um, I would move, to, would like to move to another subject. Donc but, je uh, vais if passer à autre take chose. Right now, then I'm in your hands. À moins que vous ne souhaitiez faire la pause, à vous de décider, bien sûr. President, I thank you, Council, and since you will start a new topic, it is now convenient to take a short break. We take a break now and return at 3 o'clock. And, Court Officer, please assist the witness during the break and invite him as well as his duty counsel back into the courtroom at 3 o'clock. The clock, the court is now in recess. Clouture.